KBCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. I look forward to this segment every year because I expect my name to be called. Never has yet. Hmm. Doug Steve is with us, Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame. Just kidding. I'm nowhere near qualified for that uh, august body. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Good morning to you. Good morning, Todd, and Happy New Year. You too. You had stripey shirt on last night? Yes, I had the uh, Penns Manor River Valley Girls game. Great, mm. great game. And yeah. uh, I tell you what, Penns Manor played uh, almost a perfect, flawless first half. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they've got a coach that uh, he's been around for a while. <laughs> he yeah. knows what he's doing. Jason does a nice job out there. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. Uh, and and um, anytime you're on the floor, you know that you're going to be with the veteran officials. And we, uh, you know, some of those officials have made their way into the Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame. Who'd you work with last night? I was with Fred Glasser and Lou Garzarelli. And I love working with Lou because I'm never the shortest person out there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you, uh, Mr. New Year's baby, did you uh, have a good celebration there too? Yes, it's always uh, always nice to uh, enjoy the holidays and the holidays with the birthday. So it was, a, it was an enjoyable day. There you go. All right, now to the business at hand. You're here with some serious things to do here for us today. Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame. Yes, it is. And we will have our 40th induction banquet coming up on Sunday, May 19th at the Indiana Country Club. Tickets won't go on sale until April, but I'm here this morning to uh, publicly announce the incoming class, the class of 2024 for, for the Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame. Nice. nice. And we do have a media person. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we do. So, But I'll, I'll go through these alphabetically. Uh, our first uh, inductee will be Scott Bowman of Indiana. At the age of 58, he has played local baseball for more than 50 years and still plays on five teams, including ones he sponsors. Following a career in the Indiana County League, which spanned more than 20 years, he batted over 300 in the ICL and maintains that average in his various leagues. He had a tryout with the New York Mets in 1983. He's also known for billiards around here. He continues to play. He has won 16 Indiana Pool League titles. And five and eight ball. He has run 17 marathons with a personal best time of four hours and 12 minutes. And he has run dozens of 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, and triathlons. He was also a, the RMP Bowling League president for 13 years and maintained a 175 average. So yeah. Scott Bowman. Guy has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, not, I mean, baseball, but he does other things with billiards and running sure as well. So. Yeah. Our second uh, inductee, George Buzovicki. Hey. Uh, George from uh, grew up in the Penns Manor area, involved with United uh, Sports over the years, uh, football coach at various levels from 1970 to 2007. He was the head coach at United High School from 1989 to 95. He led the Lions to the district title and Appalachian Conference title in 1992. He compiled a 31 and 7 record from 1989 to 1992. He spent 43 years from 1980 to present as a PIAA track cross country official. He's also coached scholastic wrestling and sandlot baseball, and he was a two year letterman at Penn's Manor in football and also ran track. George, a good guy. Yes, he good is. Guy. So, our third inductee, Don Dowds hey. from Indiana. He was the county MVP back in his playing days in 1962 and 63, who went on to play four years at IEP and averaged 11 points per game. He won the league and scoring titles in independent leagues and won a senior games gold medal in Maryland. He coached at several schools outside the area as well as Indiana from 1975 to 1978 with a 118 and 99 overall record. And here's something, a little trivia. Mm -hmm. His claim to fame is that he scored the last points in Waller Hall and the first points at the Memorial Fieldhouse. Don Dowds. Our fourth inductee, media, Bob Fulton. The longtime sports writer, sports editor at the Gazette. In his retirement, he has written extensively about the Pittsburgh Pirates. For what you can write about the Pittsburgh Pirates. <laughs> uh, for regional and national publications, and he has articles on various subjects published on count in countless magazines. He has authored five books, the most recent this summer, 
And he continues to write historical pieces for the Gazette and articles for IUP magazine. Yeah, just had Bob on a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Well, Buried he, at Home Plate is the name of that's the most exactly recent Exactly right. I have, to, I have to read that one. I've not read it yet. Our fifth inductee from the Blairsville uh, area, Sam Izzy. Uh, in high school, he rushed for more than 3,000 yards and 50 touchdowns in the 93 through 95 seasons, and he topped 100 yards in 19 straight games. An annual All-Gazette selection, he was a player of the year in 1995 when he played on the undefeated Appalachian Conference North Championship team. He was also MVP of the Ken Lancey All-Star Game. He went on to Penn State as a walk-on and earned four letters and made trips to the Fiesta, Citrus, Outback, and Alamo Bulls. In wrestling, he was the District 6 and Northwest Regional Champion in 1996, qualified for the state tournament, and had an unblemished record in regular season dual matches. So Sam Izzy. Tremendous athlete. Yeah. Wow. So uh, our sixth uh, inductee, Richard Kosminski, he'll be inducted posthumously from the United area for wrestling, a champion college wrestler who became one of the top high school wrestling coaches in Wisconsin. He wrestled at Wisconsin Superior and placed fifth at 188 pounds in the NAIA tournament in 1966. He coached for more than 30 years, compiled 240 wins, and coached six state champions. He was inducted into the Wisconsin Superior and the Wisconsin Wrestling Coaches Association Hall of Fames. So Richard Kosminski will go in posthumously. Mm -hmm. And our final inductee uh, from Indiana, Jill Wise Smith. Uh, At Division I Bucknell, she was the first female from the school to compete in the NCAA track and field championships as a jumper. She won eight ECC championships, setting meet records in five. She was a three-time All-East performer in the triple jump at the ECAC indoor and outdoor meets and was named the Outstanding Athlete of the Outdoor Meet in 1988. In 1989, she received the Bradley N. Tufts Award for Exceptional Athlete Achievement and Contributions to Bucknell and was inducted into its Hall of Fame in 2001. In high school, she helped Indiana play in the state championship basketball game in 1983, and her jumps in track and field were school records at the time of her graduation. She now resides in West Point, New York which she is the daughter of George Wise, who yes. is uh, already inducted for his superior athletic career. That's nice. That's very, very nice. So th- those are our seven inductees. But we also, it's just not about the inductees for all our in- induction banquet. We mm-hmm. have honorees, which uh, whether they're high school coaches, high school athletes that have done something great over the past year in their in their sport uh, we have scholar athletes. We we give a uh, monetary uh, money to two scholar athletes from each of the eight county schools, one male and one female. And we also have a special honoree, someone that has volunteered their time, uh, whether volunteer their time or, or money to uh, help youth of this this county. Yeah, yeah. So. It's it's a wonderful, wonderful event, and it is being held when. It will be on Sunday, May 19th at the Indiana Country Club, 5.30 p.m., mm-hmm. and tickets will go on sale here as we come towards April. Yeah, very, very nice. Uh, and the diversity of the sports uh, that we're celebrating uh, with all of these inductees, uh, is it, it shows once again that across Indiana County, we're, we're a very sporting county, uh, but we've got good coaches and uh Kids uh, who, as they grow up, uh, they are they are taught well, and uh, they they take the lessons to heart, and uh, and so many of them go from being athletes who are coached to being coaches, coaching athletes, and and that's really one of the great things passing down that legacy. Well, and it's great we have these scholar athletes, and it's been a, a several times now we've had scholar athletes twenty years later they're being inducted into the county sports hall of fame, and they talk about sitting down there 20 yeah. years ago and, and listening to the speeches of the inductees. And, and I have people around town stop me all the time. Hey, so-and-so should be in the County Sports Hall of Fame. I'm like, hey, nominate them. I mm-hmm. said, become an annual member, which is $10 a year, or a lifetime member of $150 a year, or lifetime $150. But nominate them. I said, as, as a Hall of Fame board, we gather the information. We don't have the time to go research all that. That's up to the someone to nominate people yeah. and, and get us. And, and we do that nominating process uh, typically June through October 31st. And in November, we 
sit down and go through the nominees and, and we get to our final yeah. selection. Yeah. Well, how many in a typical year, how many nominees do you get? You had seven uh, who were Inductors. elected this time. I think we, I think we had like thirty-two that we technically makes our final ballot. Uh-huh. Uh huh. No, we had eighteen. We had thirty in the thirties, low thirties, actual nominees, mm-hmm. and we have a final ballot of around fifteen. And of those fifteen, we have the seven that were. Yeah. And, and we do have a couple uh, individuals that have been voted in previously, but because of the other commitments, they have not been able to make it back. So, mm-hmm. uh, I mean. It could be another one, potentially, depends on schedules. But right now, these are the seven that have been confirmed for yeah. this year. Yeah, very nice. Very nicely done as well. And uh, you'll get me the list electronically so I can post it on our website and direct people to the Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame website. Yes, we do have it. And we just switched over, but our website's still there. And uh, it gives information. But we'll also have information through the radio station here and in other media outlets of when the actual tickets will be going on for sale. Beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, Todd. Always a pleasure. Uh, It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Congratulations to all of this year's inductees into the Indiana County Sports Hall of Fame. 24 and a half after 9 o'clock, and it is Indiana in the morning here on WCCS. Uh, The big snowstorm we're looking at, AccuWeather says cloudy, breezy, snow showers, 31 today, down to 20 tonight, clearing out. And then clouds and sun tomorrow on a high of 33. Saturday, 1 to 3 inches of snow in the afternoon. It'll keep snowing overnight, get up to 34 on Saturday. Light snow on Sunday. Your storm total, AccuWeather says, 4 to 8 inches uh, by the end of the snow on